this is gonna sound so like cliched or hackneyed or something. Um, I use OD et amo as a phrase so much, either in the original or in translation, depending on who I'm talking to. That idea is something that comes up uh, for me so often of, um, I mean, not with that level of intensity, but so many, so many things um, that, you know, you're, you're dealing with maybe the idea of love and hate, but sometimes, you know, not even necessarily those two ideas, but the, the sense of having, you know, these two completely opposite pulls um, that in some completely logical way are consistent with each other, um, that you can never totally access, um, but it just is, it's something you feel. Um, that poem is, is one that I've never forgotten, like word for word, stored it, um, because whether, whether I'm being jokey about it or not, um, it's always, you know, when you're, when you're in that really like intense emotional space of being, you know, frustrated with someone who is close to you or, um, you know, being frustrated by, uh, you know, doing something that you enjoy doing. Um, you know, at work or in hobbies or whatever, that, that idea, I mean, it's sort of that phrase has come to almost be like a dissociated from its specific meaning, but has just become like a signpost that pops up, um, not necessarily a lot, but not infrequently. Um, and that, that guy really got it um sense to to have that feeling of you know i understand this feeling um and i'm so glad that someone put words to it i don't have a lot of like super specific examples of like when that has happened as much as just general you know um general sense of when, you know, that sort of feeling hits you, but, um, but it's definitely something that, that has always, uh, stuck with me in a particularly meaningful way. So, so, Odi et Amo, I, I hate and I love, um, and the rest of the poem is this just, so simple and yet so so strong you know it's I hate and I love you know maybe you ask how this is possible I don't know but I feel it happening and it's torment um there's such a simplicity to that thought and that's the whole poem too it's it's not even that there's anything more that needs to be said um it's such a, a beautiful economy, in part because it says all it needs to say, in part because we don't know what else can be said, because it's a feeling that it's not possible to observe anything about besides that it's a feeling, and it's a bad one. Um, it's conflicting, and it's, it's torturous um, to feel so afflicted by something that doesn't make fundamental sense. Um, that's, that's something that I just, uh, I think it's fantastic. I mean, so much now when, when you're looking at, you know, a, a current moment that's as fiercely polarized as this one, um, and 
you know, dealing with that, that question of how you bring people into your life when you disagree with them on, you know, very fundamental things. Um, you know, you, you do inevitably come to that question of how to reconcile that. And I think a lot of people are maybe thinking, I'm not sure I can. And I'm not, I mean, I've been very fortunate not to necessarily have anyone who I'm on the verge of kicking out of my life. Um, but, but I think that sense of, of duality is one that is worth exploring especially at a time like right now. Um, I mean, it's something that a lot of people are exploring whether they want to or not, but um, it's funny that our instinct now is to sort of push against that. 